everyone this is day 20 and today it's inspired by a fond memory of your sister well that's all right for um, Rachel and Sarah because they have one sister each but I actually have two sisters so uh, I was thinking it's double the trouble <laughs> um, so when I was thinking about my sisters and our fond memories um, and I as the eldest, I've been 10 years, 10 years older than them, um, seven years older than Heather and 10 years older than Tracy. And so I kind of grew up a bit separate. I was like the big sister they looked up to and now it's like I look to them and go, wish I was younger. And, uh, <laughs> you know, well, they're starting to get into the same similar age group. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we're, um, we're all getting older. Uh, but what I thought about was um, one of the things lately, rather than an earlier, earlier memory, um, because of the age gap, I moved out when they were still younger and, uh, you know, they were eight, eight and ten and I moved out at 18. So I had left home and didn't really have as much to do with them for a while. Um, anyway, one of the things we do now every year since Dad died, which was 20 eight or 29 years ago um, is after dad died mum didn't want to do Christmas anymore so one of the memories I have is that Tracy the youngest sort of took over having Christmas at her house because she is the she has the larger house you know I've downsized my other sister lives on her own so we don't have the big house with the family and the space um, like I used to before I downsized so uh, she's still got the big house so the main thing I thought about was Christmas really um, so I've got a photo of the last time we last Christmas the three of us together which I am going to put on the phone and I've chosen this little uh, bit of card because Heather really loves butterflies and Tracy likes design and I've just, uh, it was a sheet like that, and I've just folded it, and I've cut it to make like a little book thing. And I wanted to focus, even though it's, this is brown cardstock, I wanted it to be a bit heavier. Uh, but this was, this is the picture. My printer just stopped working, so uh, it didn't stop working. It ran out of ink just after I printed out this picture, and a picture of the spectacular pavlova that Tracy made and so something that is a common thread at Christmas uh, because I don't drink um, Heather and Tracy like to have a drink but I don't drink and so at Christmas it's the one time I kind of have a champers with them and we have a drink together which is really lovely so I thought that I would um, use this as the inside colour and I printed out two. Where's the other one? I printed out two and then ran out of ink. So uh, I didn't get to print out a picture of a champagne bottle, which is what I wanted to do. <laughs> a glass of champagne next to a champagne bottle. I'll have to stick that in a bit later, I think. Oh, squeaky chair. Stop it. Uh, yeah, I'll have to stick it in maybe a bit later. And um, what else was going to print out? Oh, I was going to pick, print out a picture of Heather's cat because we're all we've all got cats. We're all a cat family because Mum was Mum was a big cat person as we were growing up. Although when I was four or five, I had my own pet dog. Um, she used to follow us. She was a border collie, I think, but she used to follow us to school, and in the end, she just would never go home and uh, in the end she got run over unfortunately. Um, back then no one cared about locking up their pets. This was in the late 60s and early 70s. No one cared two hoots about having all their pets locked up and tied up and cats were allowed out all over the place. So we only had one dog but we always had lots of cats. I have mice. Anyway, 
anyway. It's pretty, pretty much giving you my life bloody history in these things. Oh, I was just, sorry, just swore. I'm Australian. <laughs> Mate. Um, <laughs> life history. Um, yes, anyway. Uh, I had mice when I was a bit older. My dad made a pretty amazing mouse uh, hotel, I'd say it was. <laughs> it was just like a castle. He made it out of wood. <laughs> How cute is that? Anyway, um, the thing about my sisters is now, as they're older, is when I have make the memories, you know, because now we've been through many more things. People in, you know, family getting older, sick. We've all had a few issues. Um, so it's a very different, different time now for us all. Now I wonder if I can cut these at the same time to save me cutting them. I might not be able to. I think I'll cut them separately and then uh, and then just double check they fit in with each other after. Yes, so now every Christmas we have a big get together at her house if it's really hot, because you know in Australia it's uh, hot at Christmas time. If it's really hot we um, can have a swim in the pool at her house. A glass of champers, float around, have a bit of a laugh. And every year is different because we had her husband's um, mum and her partner would be coming every year and she was the life of the party, honestly, um, until she finally passed away. She was sick for many years, but when she passed away it was sad. And then we all uh, have had different Christmas since since she went. Been a bit quieter. So last Christmas was, uh, I think, the second one, maybe first or second since she passed. And it was just our family rather than her Tracy's husband's family coming all the way over. And they, um, so it was a quiet one. It was a, it was a quiet one, and it wasn't as alcohol fueled as normal. It was a bit more sedate. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now let's just um, we have a bit damp from the glue, but I'm going to line this up, line the back up. And square up the edges. Oh no, I know, I've got one here. Wrong colour. Okay, here we go. Nope, nope. That's the one right down the bottom. And as I was talking about, my bone folder, I think, went into the bin and uh, disappeared. I just ordered one on eBay, but they're just the cheap ones. Um, it's only a couple of dollars. So, like, to most people, they would say, why would you be even, you know, it's a waste, but why would you be worried about it? But the thing is that um, I had that bone folder since I was working in the printing industry. That's how long I've had it. So I, it was an old original one, and 
and um, I don't know, it was just special, it reminded me of my dad. And so it must have been at least, I think I said I was saying this in the last video maybe, probably was, forget, I'm forgetting things. Um, I guess it was at least um, forty years old. My goodness, I was forty years old, and it fell in the bin and went out in the rubbish. I am so upset about that. God, gosh. Okay, that's that's us last Christmas. Tracy's Pavlova. Now, I thought um, there's a few little things that are things that remind me of my sisters, um, especially as we go to Tracy's for Christmas um, because her husband likes, loves to cook, so he used to like um, making, you know, they'd make a really beautiful roast, even though in Australia. We really, really uh, often have a stinker of a day. It's stinking hot. Uh, for the most part, <laughs> madness overtakes everyone at Christmas and we still try to do a roast. And, uh, you know, most some years it's actually quite cool. It's not so hot. It's, uh, you know, it can get down to, I don't know, 12 or 15. 15 degrees maybe um, but we still always have salady foods and this also reminds me because at Tracy's house she has a massive uh, vegetable patch and chooks so some of the memories for us as siblings is really about um, uh, you know over the last few years is about that coming together and sharing food and eating and so this salad I, I, I wanted to print out a picture of her vegetable patch but obviously my printing ink ran out so um, I thought this reminded me uh, not the religious picture but this reminded me a bit of picture reminded me a little bit of the energy of it so um, the wine and the, so the passion fruit collecting passion fruit from the garden which we haven't done yet but uh, I think she's got some growing that'll be ready this year maybe so there's a couple of things that remind me of when we get together And of course, my brother as well should be included, really. Yes, he's there also. But he's closer. He's only uh, 18 months younger than me, so he's closer in age. So yeah, it's a time for getting together. Uh, I don't want to cover up the strawberries there. Just having a glass of wine, having some fresh food and yummy things. What else have I got? Oh yeah, okay. So this, because I couldn't print out anything that was actually literal, I had to get similar things and this actually my sister is blonde and thin and she does love her chooks and she hugs her chooks so this picture is going in as a reminder of her <laughs> this is out of an RACV auto book because once, once I couldn't print anything out I just went well oh, what, how can I do this this challenge I have to just use things that remind me 
of my sisters and well of the memories and the times we spend together. These days it's mostly birthdays uh, wasn't this year we missed um, we usually go to Tracy's place because it, it holds us all uh, but obviously this year I didn't get either of my girls birthdays I missed her son my nephew's birthday I missed my brother's wife birthday I've said it before um, because of the COVID thing and keeping everyone safe and so um, I think we're all looking, well, I don't, we don't even know if we'll be able to get together for mine and my mum's birthday in July. Whether we do or not, I don't know. However, hopefully we're all able to get together at Christmas. I think we will be. I think that's just way too far away. Like that has to be something that we're allowed to do by then. And in fact, actually, I think I'll insist on it. I might insist on it for my birthday. A bit over it. Really, really over it. Totally over it. Um, okay, so the the only other thing I could do was I found this little... Um, they've got an A-line house, which is very similar in design to this. So I found that, which reminded me of when we get together. Um, it's just out of a real estate magazine. And we all park out the front, so it's even got a similar like drive and everything. So this this was a reminder of, of visiting. Now let me look. I don't want to cover up those strawberries. I like them. <laughs> I might just put this here. Don't need to. It's just the concept of it. It's not the. Uh, actually, let's put the doorway because that this the doorway and the window there remind me of her place. I thought I could like think about music or something like that, but we all have incredibly different musical tastes. I studied jazz. Tracy loved uh, a bit of heavy, oh, well, they both liked a bit of heavy metal. Tracy particularly liked a bit of heavy metal and having a bit of a, uh, found some old photos of when she was, you know, late teens, early 20s, going to heavy metal concerts and uh, wearing band t-shirts and stuff. And then Heather, uh, Heather also liked heavy metal um, and probably went to some similar stuff, but now she's been a bit part of the, the goth scene. She's enjoying the goth scene at the moment, and uh, that's still fairly much a heavy metal, but um, slightly different than what Tracy might. They might not listen to the same music anymore. And I've always been a bit of a jazz buff. I studied jazz and music and composition and um, I don't really like heavy metal at all, it's not my thing and I actually don't mind, I like pop music even though maybe that's a bit embarrassing to admit, I just do, don't care whether anyone likes, thinks that's good or bad or whatever, I just like it and I like dance music but in a different dance style whereas I think if they were dancing they would like it in a Heather would like it in a goth style Tracy would like it in a um, I don't know I don't even don't even know if Tracy dances Heather probably gets up and has a dance after about six glasses of wine <laughs> sorry Heather <laughs> But I don't, rem I don't ever remember Tracy dancing, so I don't, don't know what happens with that. <laughs> don't, know. don't know if we're different about that. I like a dance, and I'll get up and embarrass myself entirely because why not? And who cares? 
Um, so the, this front bit reminded me of their driveway. They've got a very long driveway. So it's all about this. this is, I've kind of got stuck with only being able to kind of do what um, I could find pictures for, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, oh, it's just the way it goes, isn't it? That's how it is today. And that's okay. But I like, I like this. It reminds me of... They all remind me of the house, and so really, even though I'm not featuring a lot of them as people so much, um, these are these are my memories. Um, that's the sort of one I got. I think this is similar. Like it's like that out the their back of their house is a bit like this, but I think this. I don't know. Maybe a bit of this. Maybe a bit of both, perhaps. Giving good old Morris and Cleman a bit of an ad there. You know what? They sold my house. So I guess, there you go, that's a return. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one watching this is interested in Australian real estate. Well, maybe they are. Who knows? I shouldn't say that. That's probably not true at all. Okay. All right. Probably a little short one today. I think later I'll put in um, shampers. <laughs> put this in here. Got that. Got the wine. I did get the wine. Put this on the back cover. Or will I put this on the back cover? I'll put that one there. dark I don't think I need to do all the edges so anyway um, speaking about brothers and sisters um, we have a little texting uh, chat we have a sibling chat we have and um, we were just having a chat in it just before I started this video and um, we were talking about cats and all the cats we've had etc and uh, my brother reminded us all that one of the we moved I think we lived in about four or five different houses but my brother reminded me about the time that he was he just got his license and he was asking mum if the cat had moved out of the way before he reversed out of the drive and she said yes and he ran the cat over because she thought he said has is the cat still there and she said yes 
that he ran the cat over. So we remembered. We were just remembering that today. That cat was one of those beautiful fluffy uh, grey and white cats. It's Spotty. So its name was Spotty. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> As you do. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep this together. I'm going to put one of these little doodars in. Keep it together. Um, Spotty the cat. And it got shortened to Botsa for some reason. Spotty Botsa. Oh, these are really long. This might not be a good idea. Um, let me just get a shorter, shorter one, shorter thread. Because the end is quite long on that. Oh no, everything's going to fall down. Oh, I really, I, since I've been doing this 100 day, I love it. But I also realise that... Um, My cleanup skills have gone out the window. <laughs> this is um, this is a good cheap way of getting a whole heap of these. Hundred in a box. Can't remember how much it was, but it was from Office Works. Now I need a big one with a short foot. These are these are little cute ones. These little flowers, but that's I shouldn't have made that hole that big if I was going to change my plan. Let's use a green glitter one, glittery green for all the greenery. And um, yeah, it'll fit, but it's the oh, legs still are a bit long. I haven't got any. Oh, I know what you know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to actually fold this back in on itself and do that and you know what that will do that will actually uh, stop any edges from poking out there Let's put that in there that's a good idea Now I reckon I, I probably don't have that much more to do on this in terms of what I'd like to do a bit later. Uh, however, I do feel it needs I just found some of my little ephemera books um, that hold different things and I see what I got in here no. Okay, I just saw something that might be nice. I, I just typed up a few um, little phrases myself. There, that is, let's put a bit of this behind it. Uh, this was, I embossed it through the embossing. Um, I've got a go cut embossing thing, and then I just put some ink over it to get a pattern. And and it's green. That pleasant forever afternoon we had. Well, that's kind of what we like. And I printed this out on sticker paper. So I, I made up, just wrote a few phrases out. Um, lost my scissors, there they are. And printed it out on my printer. Uh, now I love my printer, but I do find I am going through the ink just a little bit too much. 
Oh no, I don't want to cover up the butterfly. Oh no. Uh, uh, you know what? I think it's not going on the front cover because I don't want to cut up, cover up that butterfly. Because that reminds me of Heather, so why would I cover that up? It's all about Tracy's house. I wouldn't mind a little something. Okay, I'm gonna have to find one. Maybe I should make one. Little stickers, no, not there. I don't think there's any of what I'm looking for in here. There's a bat, oh, I could, could have stuck a bat fly in. Um, bits and pieces, bits and pieces. Um, my alcohol inks. These little things just made the I made these yesterday when I was talking about the um, this die cut. I made I made I printed some I cut some out ready to use for a project. Okay, nothing in there. Um, what else have I got? Some little sticker things. This feels like it needs that little extra something on the front there. What have I got here? Notes, works, goals, wellness. Oh, wellness will fit on. That'll be a good one to put on. It's a nice little affirmation for all of us because Heather and I both are on the be careful list. Tracy's doing them a lot better. She's the youngest. So that's a nice thing to use as wishful, wishful thoughts. Anything else in here that could go? Be a drink. No. Oh, there's a little drink. What else? Can't even read it. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Um, coconut ice cream parfait. All right, well, that can go in because we do always try to do some sort of interesting dessert or something. So that can go there. We we're all always experimenting a bit. We've got a couple of vegans in the house, um, in the family that come along at Christmas, vegetarians or vegans, depending on what year it is. 
we've got people that have to have particular diets um, for health reasons as well so we do try and be a bit careful about all that that is a nice cool drink with a bit of lime in and um, oh now I can't open that up I didn't think that one through did I but that's okay I reckon I'm done I do these little things and then I go oh you know what I could have done done that better and you know what I will get better I will probably will get better at those things no probably about it. I just will because I'm going to choose getting better about those things. Wellness. Okay. <laughs> Rambled on a bit too long again. Okay, here you are. That was it. That was day 20. Memory of your sister, or in my case, sisters. And I have no idea how I'm going to stick that in. I think it's going to be another um, paper clip. Paper clip, I put them in, oh, and I put them all back in the drawer. I haven't even got one. Okay, well, I will get one out after I've finished this. For now, that's done. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>